Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to this video review. Today we're going to be reviewing, talking a little bit, and setting up this tent. This is the Nature Hike Cloud Up 2 tent. Uh, I found it in eBay, not so expensive, I don't remember the price. But mainly the reason for this review is that it's very hard to find uh, Nature Hike reviews in the internet. I tried to find out some of them before purchasing this one, and it was just impossible. So I hope this will be helpful for you guys. This is meant to be a two-person tent, but in my opinion, and you will see when it's set up, it's quite small for two people, so it's mainly for just some sort of solo tent. Uh, it weighs a little less than two kilos when it's all packed with all the packs and everything. So that's quite lightweight if you are looking for a not-so-big tent to even if it fits inside your backpack. And uh, it's rated up to 5,000 uh, millimeters of water column water resistant I don't know how to say that in English so if I say it wrong forgive me uh, so it should be quite okay for some average outdoor uh, trip it should resist quite well but let's talk a little bit less and do more things so I will put it up and you will see how it looks <laughs> Okay, so here we have the Nature Hike Cloud Up 2 completely set up with all the wind ropes, all the pegs and everything. We'll go through some details, first the good details and then the not so good details. So here for example in the rope we have this kind of uh, adjusting buckle. It's very practical and they are also reflective. So that's very good in the night. Pegs seem to be quite a good quality in this kind of V form, V shape. The fly sheet attaches to the ground sheet in this buckle with this reflective surface and you can adjust it to make it quite uh, tight. It has a nice uh, this peg attachment point in the middle of the tent so in both sides so it will, be, it will make it a bit wider and if, I don't know if you can see it here but it attaches to the ground sheet inside with this hook so it will keep it nice and spaceful inside there, I hope you can see that uh, all the pegs are red so that's pretty cool you have a, all in every point, in like a critical point you have these buckles to attach the fly sheet to the ground sheet, they're, the ground sheet does, they're very easy to uh, release and that's pretty much it from the outside. Now you can take a look, a general look of it. I will just place the camera so you can somehow look, see how it looks compared with a man in a grown up size. You can see it's not so tall, it's good enough to resist the wind. Uh, it looks okay. Now, some not so good details in the outside. You will see here. For example, so failure they make in the production, this, this kind of hole, this should be uh, sealed there, safe. Instead, it's they made a mistake there, so in those small details you can see it's not a, a high-end tent, it's not the most expensive, it's just a Chinese brand. But uh, this is not too critical point, because uh, this part goes loose. So it shouldn't affect that much. 
and if you have duct tape you should fix it and also some other thing that I think it should they could have been they could have made it a bit better is that the fly sheet is not attached to the poles it's not secure there so uh, that makes makes it like not always fits in the right place with the lines so that's some other thing that it could they could have made it a bit better but again it's not so expensive ten is just a Chinese brand so for what you are getting from the money it seems to be okay and if you go to the inside you will find out that uh, it has quite a nice and decent storage area here uh, you can store your cooking things in a rainy day you might cook here of course very carefully and lots of precautions you can uh, unhook the inner, inner tent and put it all the way back so you have more space for cooking there you have this quite a big and thick uh, camping mat and anyway it fits very very nice you can put it in somehow almost in the middle and you have space in one side to store the small things you have plenty of si uh, space in the other side to put the big backpack or other gears what it lacks and I think uh, that makes you realize that it's not uh, the high end tent here in the upper side it has no storage pocket like other brands have some hanging, hanging sort of mesh and has no, no pockets at all in the sides of the tent so that's something I miss uh, that would make it even better as you see it's not space enough for two people uh, unless you're sleeping with a small kid or something but then you will have less space for your storage uh, for, to store things it has only one hook there for a lamp or something and it has a lot of mesh half the tent maybe more than half of the inner tent is yet very thin and breathable mesh so that also in the back there that should be very helpful for the uh, to avoid condensation and uh, the one thing I don't like that much is that the outside door as you see is has only one layer and it's only mesh so in case if it's very windy or very cold outside it will not keep you well isolated from the from the outside weather so it should have the option to have one mesh and one uh, just thicker kind of fabric but uh, all in all it's okay uh, once again it's not the most expensive tent so that should work okay and uh, another thing now I was just closing the zipper and this part of the zipper just the kind of thing to hold it came out but it's, it didn't break I will just put it back so yeah that's all I can say so far about the nature hike I uh, cloud up too thank you very much for watching and I hope this review was helpful for, helpful for you guys any questions any comments please feel free to let them down in the in the comment section and thank you very much for watching